So who did God set, set Moses to bring out of the land of Egypt? Was it everyone? It was the Israelites, right? But the same thing, right? The same way Moses lifted up the serpent to the Israelites. That's the reason why Christ came back. Read on. Saying, you only. Saying what? You only. No, you and other people. You only. Have high knowledge of all the families of the earth. Read verse 2 again. Read that. You only. You only. You only. So he's speaking to a specific people. You only. Like I'm talking to you. Imagine I say, you only. Am I talking to anyone else? No, I'm not talking to anyone else. The tables have turned and it's aiming at you. I'm a biblical Jew. Someone got up and Sundown. You understand that? You understand that as well, sis. So the new day begins at sundown, right? So as we were saying, today is the Sabbath. The brother's already gone over what? What can we do? What can we do on the Sabbath? What is he taught already? You can't work, right? What else? Rest. You have to you have to rest, right? You have to rest. So let's get into some more. Go back to Exodus 20 and read verse 9. Read verse 9 again. Exodus 20 and verse 9. Uh-huh. Six day thou should labor uh-huh. and do all thy work. So if you're doing all your work in six days, right? On the seventh day, are they gonna buy and sell? They're not going to, right? It says it clear here, right? Let's get a, um, go to Leviticus 23. Let's get something else that we have to do, right? Because we what? We can't buy and sell. We can't work, right? Can't buy and sell, can't work. What else do we have to do? Read that. Leviticus 23, start at verse 2. Leviticus 23 and verse 2. Uh-huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. So again, as my brother was saying before, it's giving discrepancies of who is talking to Right? So it's making it clear. Read verse 2 again. Speak unto the children of Israel. So it's showing you he's speaking to the children of Israel. Like he said, that's why all the shops are open. Because this day is for us. God gave it unto us. The Sabbath is for us. Read on. And say unto them, uh-huh. concerning the feast of the Lord, uh-huh. which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Right. So the feast of the Lord are holy convocations, meaning we must gather together as a people and dwell together on this day. Right. Read on. Even these are my feasts. So it says, even these are my feasts. So that's what it's going into. Sabbath day is a feast of the Lord. Go to Genesis 2. Because what some people don't understand, this day has been ordained from the beginning. From when the world was made, this day has been ordained. Genesis 2, start at verse 1. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Towards the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. Right, so the making of the earth had finished, right? Read on. And on the seventh day. On the what day? Seventh day. So as we read in Exodus, the seventh day is what, sis? What's the seventh day? The Sabbath, right. So the seventh day is the Sabbath. Read that again, verse 2. And on the seventh day, uh-huh. God ended his work. So on the seventh day, God ended his work. Read on. Which he had made, and he rested. And he what? Rested. And he rested. So that is what we are permitted to do. Why? Read on. On the seventh day, uh-huh. from all his work, right. which he had made. Read on. And God blessed the seventh day. And God did what? Blessed the seventh day. So that's why we must keep it. God blessed it. This is ordained from the beginning. After he finished the world, right? He made the earth and he rested. Hey, my brothers, walk in there. My brothers. The guy in the blue hat. Can't hear me. Read on. And sanctified he. Right, and sanctified it. Sanctified means to separate, to cleanse it, right? So this day is for us, as we read in Exodus. Read on. Because that in it. He had rested from all his work, uh-huh. which God created and made. Right. So this day is for us to rest because the Lord also rested on this day. Give me Exodus 31 and verse 15. Because what we need to understand is it's not just now that we need to keep it. This is a thing that we have to keep until Christ comes back. It's not just oh, one week here and there. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, right now, do you keep the Sabbath? No. No. Right? Sis, right now, do you keep the Sabbath? No. So what we're here, we're teaching you and we're showing you that we have to come back to the laws of God in order to get to the kingdom, right? 
Because as we're going to read, we should have been keeping this, right? Before we came into this truth, some of us weren't keeping it. But now we are. Why? Because we've come back to the understanding of what the Bible says. Right? right? Read that. Exodus chapter 31 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Six days may work be done, uh -huh. but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. Uh -huh. Holy to the Lord. Right. So it says, holy to the Lord. Right. As we read in Genesis 2, it said what? He sanctified it. Same thing. Made it holy unto us. Read on. Whosoever doeth any work uh -huh. in the Sabbath day, uh -huh. he shall surely be put to death. That was back in the day. If you if you went even when an, there's a story, a man went to pick sticks, he got killed. Why? Because you're not meant to do any work on the Sabbath. But now we're under grace, right? So we can come back, keep the laws. Right? Read on. Exodus 31 verse 13. Uh -huh. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel. Again, again, it's showing children of Israel. It's not for everyone. Read on. Saying, verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. So my Sabbaths ye shall keep. This is what we're saying to you two today. The Sabbath you now have to keep. Read on. For it is a sign. It say what? Sign. It say what? Sign. So if you look at that, how do you know that's a coffee shop over there? Look, at, look over there. The sign says it, right? So the Sabbath that we keep is a sign for, for what? Between me and you. Between who? Me and you. No, between me and everyone on the earth. Me and you. So we're showing you again the discrepancy who God's people are. This is only for God's people. The book is written by Israelites for the Israelites. That's right. It's that simple. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Right? Read on. Throughout your generation. Throughout your generation. So as long as we are generating as a people, we have to keep the Sabbath day. It's that simple. Right? Read on. That ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Right. The Lord that sanctified you. The same in Genesis 2 where it said he sanctified the day. Right? Same thing. Now drop to verse 16. Because we're going to find out, like it said, throughout your generations... You should be keeping the Sabbath day, right? Throughout your generation. Do you have a question? Go ahead. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, so you're saying grace and salvation came to everyone? Okay, let's finish teaching the Sabbath and then I'll answer your question after, right? I'm going to get this last verse and then I'll answer that question, yeah? All right, read on, verse, verse 16. 16. Yeah. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath uh -huh. to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations uh -huh. for a perpetual covenant. For a what? A perpetual covenant. Do you know what the word perpetual means, any of you? It says we must keep the Sabbath throughout our generations for a perpetual covenant. Do you know what that means? Like ongoing, right? Ongoing. So what does that mean? If it's ongoing, what does it mean? We have to do it all it's before. never ending, right? A perpetual covenant, meaning what? From Genesis 2, forever, the Sabbath must be kept. So it's showing you we must keep the Sabbath, That's right? So we're going to go over it one more time. Sabbath, sis, give me one thing. What can't you do? On the Sabbath, what can't you do? You can't work. What can't you do on the Sabbath? You can't buy or sell. What else? In fact, let's get one more. Go to um, Exodus 35 and verse 3. There's one more thing I'm going to show you that you can't do, right? So we've got, you can't work, you can't buy or sell, right? What, what did I say you have to do? Rest. You have to rest, right? You have to come together as a people, rest. This is one more thing you have to do. Read. Exodus 35 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Ye shall kindle no fire. You shall kindle no fire, meaning cook, read. Throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So on the Sabbath day, we can't cook, right? Go to, um, what do I want? Go to Exodus 23. No, in fact, stay there. Read it again. Read it again. Exodus 35. Yeah, read it. Exodus 35, verse 3. Uh -huh. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations uh -huh. upon the Sabbath day. Right, so it says you shall kindle no fire in your habitations. So where you are, 
you shouldn't be cooking on the Sabbath day, right? So that's the three things that we've gone through. No working, no buying, no selling, no cooking. We understand that, right? Because before we move on to sister's question, I want to make sure we understand the Sabbath. So you understand the Sabbath, right? So what can we do? We can't work, we can't buy or sell, and we can't cook. Right, all praises. All praises, you got that as well, sis, yeah? Right, now your question. You said, grace has come unto everyone, right? All right, cool. So you said because of Christ. Give me Acts 5, verse 31. Because what you need to understand is, Christ only came for one people. Right, he didn't come for everyone. So when you read the Bible, sometimes, you know, it may be hard to understand. Right? So read that. Acts 5 verse 31. It's going to show you that Christ only came for one people. Read that. Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Uh -huh. yeah. Him had God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince and a savior. Start again. Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Him had God exalted. So it says, him has God exalted. Right? Him. Him meaning Christ. Right? Read on. With his right hand. With his right hand. So we know Christ sits at the right hand of the Most High. Read on. To be a prince. To be a prince. And a savior. And a savior. Sis, what's a savior? Someone who saves, right? So he said, he exalted Christ to be a prince and a savior. But to who? Read. For to give repentance. So to give repentance to who? To Israel. To everyone. Israel. To everyone. Israel to Israel so it's making it clear here Christ only came for the Israelites that's right do you understand that sis Christ only came for the Israelites it says it here right it makes it clear here what go on but who does um get me that um get me that Amos 3 and 1 because we're going to show you, because you said, because Israel already knew God, right? But who does God know? Who does God deal with? Do you know? Who does God deal with? He only deals with one set of people. I'm going to show you. It's in the Bible. Amos 3 and verse 1. Say that again. The Israelites. He only deals with the Israelites. That's it. He doesn't deal with any other nation. Read that. Amos 3 and 1. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord had spoken against you. So it says, hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you. Read. Oh, children of Israel. Oh, what? Children of Israel. Again, the same with the Sabbath. It said, speak unto the children of Israel. It says what here? Oh, children of Israel. It's making it clear. Read on. Against the whole family uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So who did God set, set Moses to bring out of the land of Egypt? Was it everyone? It was the Israelites. Right, but the same thing, right? The same way Moses lifted up the serpent to the Israelites. That's the reason why Christ came back. Read on. Saying, you only. Saying what? You only. No, you and other people. You only. Read on. Have I known of all the families of the earth? Read verse 2 again. Read that. You only. You only. You only, so he's speaking to a specific people. You only, like I'm talking to you. Imagine I say, you only. Am I talking to anyone else? No, I'm not talking to anyone else. Read that, verse 2. You only uh -huh. have I known of all the families of the earth. It's only Israel that the Lord knows. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.